My friend Joe over at Glass Cages reached out to me and asked if I could help a friend of his who was having some trouble with his aquarium. This is a fellow up in northern Maine who had just bought a 350 gallon aquarium from Glass Cages. And what happened was just crazy. He set the aquarium up and he had already like a 150 gallon and a 75 gallon running already with some great cichlids in it. Sets up the, the uh, 350 gallon, uh, creates a, an amazing sump system where the overflow box is piped, it, you know, it's down to the basement. So actually goes through the floor and down into the basement where there's a, a, a large food grade stainless steel sump down there uh, full of sponges that the water is, is, is trickling down through and then being pumped back up, back up to the aquarium through the return lines. It, 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 it was just a great setup, but a classic mistake led to the die off of a lot of great fish. In that tank, he had uh, uh, chocolates, uh, Dempsey's, green tares, uh, Oscars, and just an assortment of other South, uh, South American and Central American cichlids. It was just a, a lot of fish. He had grown out, all of them were, were big, big hefty fish. Things seemed okay at first and then the die-off started. It just like three fish at a time, four fish at a time and it just got worse and worse until all that was left was an Oscar, I believe an Oscar and a Pleco. So what, so what happened? The mistake he made, which unfortunately I've seen before, is that he assumed that by bringing water over from an established working tank that that was really all you needed to get a new tank going. Uh, that's not the case. Very little bacteria, some does exist, but very little bacteria is in the water column. So when he brought the, the water over from the 75 and the 150 and put it into the 350, he added some good stuff but it wasn't enough. The fish, of course, being in water they were familiar with, they were fine for a day or two. But as they started to produce waste, and that waste started to produce ammonia, that tank started to cycle. He noticed, as the fish were dying off, that they were hanging around the top of the aquarium. He thought maybe they were not getting enough oxygen, maybe there wasn't enough water movement, that was not the case. What was happening is that they had, because of the ammonia, burned the gill, the plates, and were not able really to breathe and were able to get enough oxygen. And one by one, they ended up dying. This is the kind of thing that unless you are familiar with water chemistry and beneficial bacteria, the nitrogen cycle, it, it would just drive a person crazy. What's even more frustrating is that he had the solution in his hands. When he transferred the fish over, he broke down the 150 and prepared it to sell. He was gonna go ahead and put it like up for sale, like in Craigslist or something. All of that bacteria was just washed out, all that good bacteria that he had in the substrate of that aquarium and in the sponges of that canister filter that he was running on the 150 all that bacteria was just lost and washed away. When if he had just taken the entire contents of that canister, three or four bags of, of substrate and put them into a, a, a mesh bag and put it all into the sump, right? Running conditioned water through the system, he would have had an instantly cycled aquarium. His aquarium would have been able to handle the bio load that those fish were producing with their own waste and with what was being fed to them. Instead, he assumed that the water had the necessary ingredients to create an up and running tank immediately. The fish produced waste, the food and what have you, started the cycling of the tank, an ammonia spike occurred and the mass, the mass die off started. He had a light bulb go on during our conversation. I'm positive he's never gonna do that again. Uh, and now he's gonna go ahead and cycle the tank by, by putting some media in the 75 gallon that is still up and running and let that media seed and then move that media over to the 300 
and use that in conjunction with some Fritzheim 7 and that should get that 300 gallon going. But in the meantime, uh, he learned a very, very tough lesson. So uh, moral of the story, the water in your tanks will not get another tank up and running. It'll give you the illusion for a day or two that things are good because it is good water, but it doesn't provide the necessary bacteria to convert ammonia to, nitri to nitrite and that nitrite to nitrate. So don't make that mistake. Don't end up with a big kill off. You can also bring about the same results by doing too much to your aquarium. A deep gravel vac, you pull out all the decor and scrub it down, you swap out the filter media, you're gonna do the same thing. So take it easy. Like I say in one of the uh, t-shirts at my Teespring store, for success, mess less. All right, there you have it my friends. Has something like this ever happened to you? Let me know in the comments below, I'd like to hear about it. And uh, another option, he could have gone to the local fish store and said, hey, can I have some seeded media? Or maybe from another friend, but he wasn't thinking that way. He was just thinking in terms of, well, it's good water that should handle it. So he got it, he understood it. And he's a veteran fish keeper, 30 years at it, and, and made this, this honest mistake. So if you've done something like that, share it below. We all learn from each other at this channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you like the channel, hit that bell, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream where a bunch of fish keepers get together and talk about all kinds of experiences in fish keeping. It's a, it's a fun one hour every Saturday at 11 a.m. Central. And if you'd like to support the channel further, consider becoming a Patreon, a member of the Garage Gang. And if you want some more tips on, uh, on taking care of fish and having healthy, happy, aquariums check out this best tips playlist right here and if you want to know more about bacteria beneficial bacteria check out this video here on where is your beneficial bacteria all right thank you my friends and uh, oh if you want to subscribe hit me in the face right here <laughs> bye bye